Saludos a todos. Yo soy Gisela Bouvier. Y yo soy Fabián Marcano y le damos la bienvenida al Daily Fla al Flash Latino. Oh my God, you see, I'm, I'm already mixing it up a little bit. Bueno, más que todo, el Flash Latino Spanglish, because we want to do this the same way we chat with la familia, los amigos. Every o day. sea, mezclando el español con el English. That's how we say it. You know what I mean. Mira, y tenemos something cool. Chin, chin. Cheers. Salud, mi gente. Salud. Tenemos una nueva copa. Gracias, a Hugo, y los productores por esto. It's been a, a fun, fun time. I mean, thank you for being here. Of course, Luzella, as always. So excited. Nuevo episodio hoy, you know? Um, so let's get to it. Let's get into it, right? The investigation into the murder of Cuban artist Jose Manuel Carvajal Saldivar eh, mejor conocido como el Tiger, eh, saw a breakthrough with the arrest of a long-sought person of interest. New York police detained Damián Valdez Galloso three weeks after the authorities called on the public to help locate him. Valdez Galloso's name had been mentioned by Miami police after el Tiger was found by dying in the trunk uh, of a car with a gunshot wound to the head. Authorities have not clarified if there is a person of interest or a suspect, simply a witness right now, but they've confirmed that Valdez Galloso has been on the run since the murder, and after his death, El Tiger remains, uh, his remains were sent to Cuba as he was cremated. His ashes were sent over there where most of his family resides. And I mean, I just in Miami hace poco. I was just in Miami, and I honestly, I saw how people like how much people love him in Miami. At it's such a sad story, o sea. The Cuban community is really out there. Y por lo menos yo fui a la fiesta latina de iHeartRadio hace poco y en realidad I saw the community come together. They did a little tribute for him and it was a very special time. They brought out his whole team. And I mean, por lo menos, I know it's horrifying. It's a horrifying story, but you see how how good the Cuban community comes together. Yeah. Y el resto de los latinos alrededor. So es algo, es algo por lo menos something on the positive side, claro right? Claro que sí, claro que sí. Bueno, Leaked rehearsal footage of Shakira's new tour shows her diving into water from the high up and has fans excited due to their high level of complexity and risk. La Shaki is once again making headlines after the leaked footage provided an exciting sneak peek of what seems to be part of the show. El video was briefly uploaded and featured the singer dressed as a mermaid sitting on a giant anchor suspended in the air. She is performing aerial stunts before diving into small pool set on stage. The dangerous and bold nature of the performance left fans in awe, especially considering the comple complexity of the show and Shakira's age. A los 47 Whoa. años, la nativa de Barranquilla has proven not only her dedication to delivering high quality performances, but also that she maintains the physical strength required to keep offering top tier performances. I don't like how you just la choteaste ahí. You snitched her out right there. I saw that. I saw <laughs> production do something. It's like, <laughs> I saw her uh, in concert, oh, hace cuantos años. Tour the Mongols, o sea, casi 20 sí. años. She's incredible. O sea, de verdad que sí. I can't say I was there because, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm aging was, myself. You know. <laughs> Pero qué bueno, yo quisiera ir a verla también. Estoy loco por el nuevo tour. She's coming sí, out. Sí, I, I really want to go, too. I like the new song. Oye, y tengo otra cosa de artista que tenemos aquí. When uh, okay. Puerto Rican, el artista Raymond Ayala, better known as Daddy Janky, announced his retirement from music in December of 2023. Many expected him to step out of the eye of the public, but he completely did the opposite. And now, since pausing his career in Spanish language urban music, the big boss, como lo conocen, of reggaeton has released three songs and shared his Christian faith. And now Daddy Yankee is ready to share his message internationally. The Puerto Rican artist remained, uh, reminded his fans he'll be in Argentina, in your hometown, on November 24th, not as a musician, but as a preacher. He told fans he intends to continue his music career, bringing messages of unity to all corners of the world and inspiring more people to improve every day. You know, ¿Cómo lo ves allí? Qué bueno, qué bueno para él. You know, él, él está haciendo lo que quiere con su vida, encontró a Dios, you know, everybody, everybody makes their own life and good for him if it makes him happy, right? Right, isn't it weird though? Like, tú no te lo esperarías de, de Daddy Yankee. No, de, I know, literal. fue de un lado para el otro, right? <laughs> literal, la persona you know? más grande del reggaetón. Pero... Va para Argentina, what do you think he's going to be seeing? ¿Qué va a comer por allá? ¿Qué tú crees? Eh, carne asada, of ah. course. Bueno, a regresar, we have something sweet en la cocina con la lechera. No se lo van a perder. Mm, I'm ready to go. We'll be right back with more on El Flash Latino. Stay tuned with us.